Hello everybody, welcome to the Crochet Lover's Crochet Podcast, episode number 15. So before I do say anything, thank you so much, Ella, from the No Catchy Name, for giving me that little shadow. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but really it is, and I want to say thank you again, even though I commented on her videos. Thank you. Um, so... I have a little odd combination going on over here. I'm cover- recovering from a little bit of a head cold, as well as um, the little bit of losing my voice, which has gone on with that. So that's why I sound a little bit weird today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get that out of the way. <laughs> so also. I am trying a new setup, and hopefully this one is better, and I did get a comment last time about the lighting, which I didn't realize was a problem until now, so thank you for that comment, and hopefully the lighting is a little bit better. So the first item I'm going to show you guys is the temperature blanket, and now I can fully go on and show you the temperature blanket. So we started row 4. <clears throat> so here we go. So we did those bottom rows over here, and then there was these two over here. So here's a good look at the temperature blanket for those of you who are new here. We are, I am doing a temperature blanket this year for 2019, and uh, I did think it was a good idea to start one this year just because I tried doing one last year and then it just, I started too late and I got, I started on like the 20th of January and I just overwhelmed myself. And then another good reason for, that I think it's a good idea to do this year is because the weather is going crazy and I think it's really cool just to look at it. <laughs> so you can see how many whites we have which is negative which is zero or like low. So and it's getting bigger by the day, literally, and it's so cool just to see it grow. <laughs> so yesterday I did some I did a lot of crocheting and the reason for that was I pulled an all nighter <laughs> and so I can <laughs> During the night when I was supposed to be sleeping, I was up crocheting, and when I was supposed to be awake, I was asleep. So, I don't know. <laughs> so I got my crocheting done for that day, basically. And here's what it was. So my cousin, this is the 529 blanket, the cor- corner one. My cousin, he actually was racing last night on television. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna grab his blanket out, I'm gonna work on it. So, um, I got one of these border fillers done. And I also, um, made a two yesterday. So this one was in Red Heart Pumpkin. The two, what is in Red Heart Flame, and then the black was in Craft Smart Black. So here's the blanket. I made this yesterday, so. I don't know, I mean, the camera shows it a backwards, but I don't think it's going backwards from what I know. So the two is like that. So number sign five, two. And the next one is going to be a nine right here, so then. I also have to um, make more of these, I'm going to call these filler squares, I have to make more of these filler squares and then attach them over here and then I think I'm going to have like the repeat going on over here and then over there too. And since so this is a blanket, I'm going to make a big border for it or I can just keep on attaching these. Uh, it just depends on what happens. So, 
So, there we go. Here's the back of it, in case you're wondering. <clears throat> So I did that yesterday. I actually got the two. I didn't get the two done yesterday, but I did get the two done on Friday. I am on a little bit of a break vacation from school. Okay, that's gonna work. <laughs> okay, so yesterday, during the all-nighter part, I, this is one of the things that I crocheted. So, um, for those of you who watched the Michael's Yarn Haul, um, this is what I made it out of. For those of you who didn't, <laughs> here we go. So Michaels had a special offer. It says the bag. Um, they had. Oh, actually, I have another bag right here. So I actually got two bags of these. So inside the bag was the Charisma Marble by Lips and Threads in the color brown sugar, and this is a super bulky. And there is 60 yards in this. Or 850. 80, 85 grams. So each bag came with three of these. And I was I didn't know what I was going to make with this. But I'm like, okay, I'm going to let's get two of them. And these are for five dollars each. And these are what I thought was a really good deal. And from what, from what I know, yeah, it's a good deal. So what I made yesterday was this neck scarf, and this took two of the um, Charisma Marbles. Here's the two labels. Okay, so here's So I didn't actually use all of them. I'm sure I actually have one enough to do one more row, but I wasn't in the mood to play on that chicken, so. Yeah, that's how much I love. So this is a, a scarf that I made. And it's actually like a cowl, maybe. It's long enough for you to wrap it around twice around your neck. And I'm not going to show you, obviously, for reasons that I don't need to say. But it's very warm and soft. I haven't even washed it, and I don't think I'm going to, just because it's that soft and up and warm and I'm sure that I probably did it's gonna be even warmer. So the my goal behind this was to make something that can keep my neck warm because I did make a cowl. I think I showed you showed it to you guys in episode two of the podcast way back when. And basically I just wanted to keep my um my neck warm since that one wasn't cutting it. So I made this and it's just one big loop. And I was debating whether or not to um, twist it, and I didn't twist it, and I'm glad I didn't twist it. <laughs> I said twist it too many times in that sentence. But the pattern for this, um, I don't remember the, the pattern that inspired me to do this, but it is in the description box below. And the thing about that pattern was, I was just looking for a simple cowl that wraps around and unravel you. The simplest ones are like $4. And it's like, why are they so expensive? That is the simplest thing that I think I've ever made. And I don't get why they were so expensive and that was like the only one that I could find at the time that wasn't and then I realized you're supposed to make with your fingers and then the I don't know if like the page didn't load for me all the way or something but you couldn't even like the whole pattern wasn't even done it just said the chain I believe this was 14 
it's row chain 14, and then a single crochet in each one. And that's literally what it told you, and then to stretch out. Like, you know what? I can't. No. So, <laughs> I basically like the stitch pattern, it, the full on one expi inspire me to do a single crochet treble, which ended up looking like this, and it worked up very, very fast. And since I have four balls left, I might make either a bigger one of these, or probably not, or a hat of some sort or something like that. Maybe like a set for myself. Since I haven't treated myself in this such a long time. <laughs> what is next? So I started working on this blanket again. This is a blanket for myself. And this it's way too long for me to actually like fully un unravel it. So this is the width. So this is Okay, so the purple is two skeins of Red Heart, nope, Craft Smart, in the color purple, and the blue up here is two is is going to be two skeins of Craft Smart in the color turquoise, and then I don't know if it's white next or black next or white next. Or pink next. Basically, the colors I have for this blanket are purple, blue, pink, white, black. I think it's purple, blue, white, pink, black. Because I remember I didn't know what white at the end. Because that was a no. <laughs> but I did, I made, crocheted a couple rows while I was finishing. While I was. Uh, finishing off a show on Netflix, so I was watching Sick Note and I finished that. And I was also, um, while I was working on the March score as well, which I'll show you soon, I, um, what was I still gonna say? I was watching alien documentaries as well. Like, oh, this is really interesting because I was crocheting the things that I do. <laughs> Even though if it's like two rows or something like that, it's still more than not having two rows to <laughs> add it on. So. There is that. Speaking of March's Square, it's done. And I actually have the colors for April Square picked out as well. And I had the colors picked out for March's Square picked out last week too, but I just didn't show them. I'm probably not going to show the squares for March this week either. Okay, so we got January, February, and now we have March. So here is March. Wait, I'm going to down over here. Okay. And yes, you are seeing that, right? This is an uneven square. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Here comes. So... When I crocheted the February square, I went from a 6mm to a 5.5. I'm like, okay, that's probably why the stitches are changed. And now that I made a 5.5 square again, why is this just now working out? Because, like, this side over here is, like, full-on lopsided. And then this over here is, like, I don't know what happened over here. Because I didn't even stitch that on right. This is a very wonky blanket. <laughs> and this is for myself, so. Or, like, for my family. So. I guess it doesn't really matter that I stitched them on like that softly and that they're so wonky, wonk sided. Or maybe I just added an extra increase row and I got distracted from the alien show. 
I I guess I'll never know. Okay, so next next square is a bunny. And so I got the colors picked out for that. So the background is going to be yellow. It's gonna be a gray bunny with a light blue bow and it's gonna have the pink ears. And those are the color choices. There we go. Um, knowing myself, I might start the the head of the bunny sometime this tonight or something like that because I'm bored and I want to get a head start. Even though I'm fully on the head, I'm a month ahead. But <laughs> or I just might get the appliques done, which is something that I started to do. So there we go. I'm really excited about this. Now, the last thing I have to show you are actually two items, and I'm bringing these back. So, I showed you guys these when I started this month, this year. Reason being, because these are the baby blankets. So, it finally just hit to me that these blankets are never going to get to the person that requested them. I asked, I don't have any contact of being in the person that, the, um, you know, that asked for these blankets, so I asked my parents if they could contact them since they're friends with them, with the person, and they never did. <laughs> so now I just have these two baby blankets sitting around, and I'm like, okay, so what now? I'm probably just going to sell them, right? So I, I came up with the idea of baby sets. And these are like the simplest idea ever, but it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, this one's a little foggy in the whole setup situation. But, <laughs> so I actually came up with this idea a while ago, but it was just going to be for myself. So like, for my future self, I was going to have a baby blanket made, a hat made, some booty gifts, clothes, like all that made, and like tucked away, and then surprise, <laughs> for yourself, here you go. But then, since I have these baby blankets, I'm like, you know what? I like, so I'm probably just going to find a way to sell these, and then call these baby sets. So I made these two little hats over here. Um, so, I tried making these baby sizes, but, you know, I didn't want to make them preemie sizes either. So, they, I made them a little bit big, but then they can always grow into them as well. And I finished off with the two-row white ribbing for each hat, and I made them out of the color of the baby blanket that we made match. Oh, and if you do want to know um, more about these blankets, just watch the previous videos, the <laughs> previous podcast. I'll tell you all about them. I think this is like all freaky. I don't know what happened here. Oh well. I'll freeze stream out. <laughs> Thank you for watching the podcast. And I will talk to you guys next week. See you guys next podcast. Bye.